Bang. It's been easy. One or two seconds, halfway up my nose, not a big deal. But CBS Radford, I did yesterday and today, brutal. Way up there. And spinning around for 10 seconds. That's what she said. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Rex, it's Edith. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter oh, juicy content. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So juicy. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to Classic Welcome Month. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Name that, <laughs> that yeah, show. That is... Older ones you, could. You know who would know that? I'm, this is one of the things that blew my mind about her when I was going to know her. Indrani would know that show. You watch that show? Yeah, we all. She grew up watching the, the most, same shows that I grew up. Most watching. people my age wouldn't know that show. Would not. Yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah. know. I got introduced it from a teacher in it's high school. It's legendary, but it's my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, so today is once again Classic Month, and we are reviewing Mother India. It's time for Mother India. The I 1957. I think this might be the oldest, unless a pool was around the same time. I want to say the first Opu was 55. Okay, so a couple years before this. Ballparking it, and I don't know that for sure. But yeah. yeah. But this was, we do know, famously, famously, uh, was the first uh, Indian film nominated for an Oscar. Correct. Uh, so it's big in the history of Indian cinema. It, it, it kind of changed the game uh, for a lot of stuff uh, in Indian cinema. Uh, I do think it was... Um, it was shot in color, but then mm -hmm. I think they recolorized it. Oh, really? Which I think uh, made the colors a little more, a little more sweaty. Oh yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't realize uh, that. But yeah, 1957, Mother India, directed by Mo. How do you say that? Maboob. Maboob. Yeah. In fact, we've seen that pop up before, and I didn't. We did. I don't think we realized that that was the name of this legendary director because there's Maboob Productions. Oh. I think there was a reaction where you said something like, yeah, it's my boob, and we were doing a boob joke about it. So uh, it's typical of us. But starring... Uh, Nargis. Uh, yeah, Nargis as Radha uh -huh. and Sunil Dutt. Yeah, who we saw in Padosan. Yep. Uh, so we're kind of on a uh, Sunil Dutt binge here. Um, but yes, it's, uh, we do have to preface this. We watched it on Amazon. For some reason, they were like, yeah, you can have English shoves, but... For you people that need any English subs, you don't need it for the songs. So none of the songs had subs. Why? Go figure. I, I don't know. It makes no sense to uh, me. Songs in Indian films are kind of important because they kind of, you know, yeah. progress the story and, along. And even if they don't, even if it's just a throwaway thing of like a celebration, I still want to see what they're yeah, saying. saying. Uh, so I, I, I'm not sure why, but that's the only place it was available yeah. <laughs> to us. Um, so it just preface that so uh obviously 100 points for the review pretty sure every indian has seen this film yeah um but it's 1957 so we're gonna spoil it sorry yeah we so haven't watched it i'm pretty sure it's on amazon go watch it come back rick your initial thoughts please. uh it lived up to the hype for uh -huh. me Keep in, it, in terms of the uh technologically story mm -hmm. direction yeah. cinematography uh, it, it lived up to the hype for me. I, I have a lot to say about it in that regard, as well as the allegory that it, I, I know other people have pointed out because there's a lot of represents that we won't pick up on mm -hmm. that has to do with Hinduism and representative things of her role and other people's roles and things in the story that's way over our heads and we don't know yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. But I ultimately, it went off the rails at the second and the, like the third act. So yeah. put it in four acts, the third act when it became more Padosan like oddly uh it kind of lost me for a moment and then got back on track yeah yeah uh i think it's if you're a film lover you gotta watch it it's definitely an important film right. i think in terms of if you're exploring indian cinema you can't not watch no it. or even if it's, i was teaching theater again yeah. i would say this is as important as gone with the wind this yeah. is something you need to see to understand the history of international cinema in terms of a film i loved the first half yeah, I, I love the end as well. Yeah, yeah. Acts one, two, and four. Basically, I thought it was almost an A plus film. Uh, right up until it's almost two films because she, when she was the center of the story, yeah, and this was her story, she was carrying this thing. 
she was doing a fantastic job. Agree. I loved it. I was invested in her story. Yep. I was. I felt for her. Yep. And then the second, third, fourth, I guess, it shifted to being the son story. Right. And I did not, even though I, I liked him in Pedosin, I did not like him in this. I, I don't, even though that's, this might have been the start of the angry young man phase of right. Indian Bollywood. Right. It just, it didn't work for me. The way I think, um, you know, Big B, I think probably would have worked. I think yeah. he may, might have perfected that style. For sure. Um, but it, it was very, his character only <laughs> was very over the top. And I know it was kind of symbolic of almost a Hindu god. He was correct. Like, uh, I, I forget which one. Uh, yeah, yeah, very I, mischievous. Yes, and I know that's what they were doing. It just everyone else, especially uh, Nar Nargis, right? Yeah, she was so grounded, especially in the first half. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, cool. And then it just shifted on its head to being all about him, and it was him being a very over the top, melodramatic. And it just that that's where it fell off. It turned to that that I gave the first half an A plus, mm -hmm. and then when that part of it, I was like, this is almost like a C minus for me. I agree. And then at the end, it, it kind it of back. brought it back a little it came bit. Back, yeah. And so I, overall, I'd probably give the film like a B uh, because of that. Um, but if if it was just the first one, I'd be there. Like, oh, this is almost a perfect film. I I loved this film. I did too. I, and I felt that not just that yeah. interpretation, character wise, but that. Act three that became comedic. Yeah, more. I really preferred the grounded, nitty gritty, earthy. I mean, at one point I wrote in my notes, "Good grief, the amount of tragedy this yeah. woman's enduring." I was like, she can't catch a break. Seriously, which goes to the allegory. So yeah. let me. That's for me. I've, I've read a lot of things in regard to what historians have said about the film. As I was watching it, I was making some notes to myself, as I always do, and. The, where are we? In my drafts, there we go, Mother India. Uh -huh. Where are you, are you in the, okay, sorry, it's in the other email. And there it is, Mother India. So, uh, first of all, it begins with us immersed in Indian traditions of marriage and family and then quickly turns to show us the challenges of business interactions, the connection between Indians and the land and how families work hard together. And then it yeah. also pointed out to the difference between uh, lazy, thankless, wealthy class versus the hardworking, grateful lower class, right? Yeah. And then she began to embody for me everything that not only a mother sacrifices for her children, but everything India has had to sacrifice for her people. Yeah. And this coming on the heels, as a lot of historians point out, you know, this is just 10 years removed from, from freedom. Yeah. yeah. And it really, she embodies the struggle. Yeah. And I, I got a greater appreciation for Jai Hin as well as the whole motherland yeah. concept and the idea of loving your country like a mother and and the importance of a mother it was really ironic on the heels of my mom and i being reconnected as well mm -hmm. and i found the technological aspects of yeah. this were cecil b demille mm -hmm. the flood yeah it was the, some of the sets they had in this thing were absolutely epic. so impressive epic it's like because it, it, it obviously you you know they're not real sets but we've talked about this before with old hollywood old old cinema in general you know they're not real sets right but they look and you so love dang impressive yeah like that you knew exactly how they did the flood scene but it's still so impressive for that time of 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 cinema yeah it's it was so it, it did bother me a little bit that they almost rushed past some of this trauma because she lost two children and she, what, what the first one that she lost i was like oh wait did she did she die in the flood right. Cause they almost didn't touch on i know and, and then she lost her the she second one her. and it, they, they almost brushed past that and then her husband yeah who she lost in even more painful way than if he died yeah because and then oh man the shot with him looking at her and he takes his thumb and he takes her crimson and just yeah oh that killed me yeah and him leaving and going away the other thing i don't know how much it was appreciated in the 1950s but it sure has to be appreciated today a woman carrying a film in 1957 yeah she absolutely killed it killed it she was phenomenal um i 
I loved her performance. I loved the whole female empowerment. Yes. She was like, she can literally do anything a man do with a child on her back. Yes. With, <laughs> yeah. And carry the family. And, and she doesn't have any qualms about it. No, and she just keeps persevering. That's what I wrote. One of my sentences about her was that she is the embodiment of what it means to literally have your entire homeland destroyed in every way. She had everything happen to her. Family death, economic death, the land has died and been stolen and people have taken, she just everything that ever happened to India under British rule, right? Yeah. She's the embodiment of that, yet never gave up for the sake of posterity and did whatever it took to restore the land to its former glory. Mm -hmm. And people said to her, you're never gonna restore this land. And she's knee deep in muddy water. It's like something three years before you can do it. She's like, don't care. Yeah. Don't care. Uh, that's my favorite part of the film yeah. for sure. And then just these epic, when that flood started and then the fire at the end, I, which apparently there's a story about them getting caught in the fire sequence and one of them rescuing the other and getting slightly burned. Sunil and Nargis? Yes. Oh, really? And, and I remember looking at that sequence that they're filming with all of those stacks of hay burning out of control and thought, the only, uh, the only thing I can think of that has this scale of epic, f it reminded me of Gone with the Wind. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've not, and the flood sequence at that time, which just, just at technologically, yeah. they, this thing is this something film else. This was absolutely massive and, and, and wonderful. I think it could have been almost, apparently, uh, I, I read, I don't know if it's true, you guys can tell me, that it was like one vote made it this was, not, not win. It was one vote difference for, for it actually winning. Yeah. And I find it interesting it's that the crazy. Academy, I, I'd like to look at the history of the Academy because it's so weird to me that India would be on the map and it should have been because this is the kind of film that the Academy has always looked at because it's not just a great story about these people, but it's representative. It's the first time India's cinema industry got to tell an epic film about their struggle. Yeah. And the, the Academy always loves those kind of things where, where cinema tells, holds up a mirror and says, here's the injustice that happened to a whole group of people, mm -hmm. right? But then for some reason, you literally have this gap. It's like, do we really go from Mother India to just a little blip with Lagan and then it's Slumdog for the Academy mm. to be paying attention to Indian cinema? Also, new people, we know Slumdog's not an Indian film. Yeah, I for just, anybody I, new, I know people are going to misconfuse. Yeah, and we'll get a million comments. We know that. He was just making but a reference point. The reference and the connectivity of the Academy's attention to what they thousand. consider to be Indian. Rick, Slumdog's not Indian. But we know. I, I, I'm looking forward to getting to witness the resurgence of not just. See, when we bring up the Academy, it's because when the Academy pays attention to films at a level when it gets awarded or nominated, the rest of the world pays attention. Mm -hmm. South Korea is on the map now in ways it wasn't before because of Parasite. Mm -hmm. And that's true for every film. When Roma was nominated, it became a big thing for Mexico. Yeah. And India is going to have her due many, many years over. Should have already. Yeah, Should have. Yeah. I'm astonished. Something this good in the 1950s just didn't maintain I think most of the attention. Happened come from the selection process. It that, is, it's that, the selection process. Uh, and whatever, what's actually submitted. Yeah, whatever yeah. India uh, decides to submit. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the whole issue, honestly. Yeah. Uh, because obviously they have films every year that could probably be nominated for an Oscar. Yeah. And that we've seen a ton that, that should have been. Um, but yeah, this film uh, highlights Nargis. Uh, if I'm saying that correct, I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm whiting it. No, I'm, uh, I'm, we probably both are. Nargis. She's, I, I, I've heard about her. This, I mean, she's up here, right? She's, I believe. Yeah, she's right here. That's Yeah, I believe that's her right there. I think that's her too. Uh, and I've heard, you know, she's this wonderful actor. I would love to explore her more. Yeah. Because she, she was phenomenal yeah. in this. She, like, if if the OSR Awards happen right now, she's definitely in it. Yeah. I think, in uh, terms of lead actress, right? Yeah, and because of the way the character was written. Not only a female carrying it, but we're looking at, she, she was working side by side with her husband. And her husband was cool with it. The village was cool with it. It wasn't the, what is she doing working alongside the men? And doing it pregnant. 
Yeah. You know, and two on the, the rocks. child on her back. Child on her back. Oh, yeah. And then at the very end, I loved what was the symbolic last thing of the water that was flowing mixed with the blood. Yeah. And again, that connection of the people of India with the land of India, that the land literally has the blood of Indians in it. And like her, oppressed, never of anything that they did to anybody else. They've always been victimized. Yeah. And yet fought back and said, I will not give up. Yeah. Yeah. It's so the brilliant. production design is obviously freaking brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, some of the best we've seen in terms of the sets and, and, and what they did with special effects. <laughs> and, and it was just crazy impressive. Yeah. Um, the songs, even though we, sadly, we didn't once again have subs. They were still great. There was a ton. <laughs> was yeah. like, I think it was like 12 yeah. uh, songs and they were all really good songs. Yep. Uh, really enjoyed them all. So yeah, overall, I'd probably give this film a B. Uh, just because of the second half, I think brought it down just slightly. Like the first hour and a half is an A plus for me. If that, yeah. it, it's a three hour film, so it was literally two films because she was the original main character. Then it switched to the son being the main character. Right. I just didn't enjoy that as much. Yeah. I love the I love the little boys. Yeah, I they were I, great. Yeah, I just I didn't. I, I Bijou did, as a little kid, Sunil Dutt's performance as an older kid just didn't work for me. But I, I think I'd give it two grades because I agree with you about it as a standalone as you're watching it, right? Yeah. But then when you take the historical oh, yeah. significance of it, overall, it deserves all of its accolades. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So um, that was wonderful. I'm so glad it lived up to the hype. Uh, yeah. uh, thank you so much for suggesting and making sure we got to <laughs> and it. And we finally got to it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, this was one of the first things. Yeah. It was like, okay, you're reacting to Indian stuff? Watch Mother India. So Two years later. Let us know what's the next Nargis. Uh, film and the next classic film we should watch. Let us know down below. <laughs>